you're getting this for free. You're getting my online, my curriculum here. You're getting the, the best seats in the house, as they say. I thought you were paying you me. Be paying you? I don't have any money. I thought you got paid by the... Wait, does, I thought you got paid by the government. Hold on. Aren't this, isn't this a government subsidized program here? This is for the good of society. Wait, what are you doing? No, come back, come back. Who's gonna bring me my groceries? Okay, so so I've got my camera operator here back. I used some uh, critical thinking skills to convince convince her to stay here and uh, not leave me. <coughs> so we'll be talking today about a concept in the study of history, I suppose, called euhemerism. It's a very old idea. I think it was, I think it was um, back a long time ago with all the marble and stuff. I'll spell it out for you. It's got the U, it's got the Y-O-U, which is from the Greek. Euhemerism is the idea that <coughs> uh, a character like, like a Hercules, these mythological characters who do amazing, very moral upstanding. Oh, I gotta let the kitty out. No, she's a sneaky one. She just didn't even move the camera there, getting out the door. You got the camera up on the... Up on the rack there. That's a, I thought that was a good idea. So anyway, euhemerism is the idea that the characters like your Chuck Norris and your Hercules, they were based on real people. Like they're based on true events. Uh, in the movies, you see a movie and it's based on true events and so you go, oh, that gives this sort of, this gives this story some gravitas and, and some sort of relevance to my life. Euhemerism it's the idea that like a Hercules, there was some guy called Hercules back there, but maybe he didn't eat the lion. Maybe he was a chef who cooked really good dishes, but just a regular chef who was a good chef, not a regular chef. A regular human who was a very good chef. Say maybe Hercules, he didn't eat the whole lion himself. He was a regular person. He was the best damn chef I've ever met in my life. But he was just a human man. Then you you go and eat at his Hercules restaurant. And then you go and tell your friends, Man, he was the best. I ate the best food there. And then they're like, Oh, wow, he ate the whole lion. And it gets, it's sort of step by step. It, it progresses like that. And then to now where we have the story of Hercules devours a lion whole. Is this clear enough? Do you feel like this is, I'm clearly getting a point across here? I, I'm trying to explain this concept that, that mythological characters, like even gods, this includes gods, like uh, Zeus. The ancients thought Zeus was buried on Hawaii, but not all of them. So this was a controversial idea that he was buried there. So there was some controversy surrounding this, as you can imagine. They thought he was buried there because Oh, actually, Zeus, not a god up in the sky, he was a man, and then the stories escalated over time and turned him into a god. And you follow the path there from step to step that you start out human chef, like that, and then you make a good dish, like what Hercules did, and then, then you become a god. Now let's apply this idea of euhemerism here in a, in a more modern context. We've got this idea in our culture, like the ancients had their gods, we've got these these 48 presidents you got your James, your James, uh, uh, Gore, George, James, George. You got your George, George, there's a James, George, including John F. Kennedy, who there's also some controversy surrounding here. So maybe you sort of see where I'm going with this. John F. Kennedy is this presidential figure, and that's what we all believe, that's sort of the standard idea that he was a president. Let's apply this idea of euhemerism here. Maybe John F. Kennedy, and I say maybe, but really this is more like settled science. So John F. Kennedy was not a president. He was just a regular guy who may have done some great things, some, some admirable deeds. So there's your real John F. Kennedy, this guy, and then these stories get told over and over again. It turns into this mythology that he was some sort of exalted president and that he got assassinated when really he was just this sort of guy who did some very good deeds and he was a he was an admirable man. Hey, you keep the camera on the, at least on the whiteboard there for the, for the information. I'm trying to do an educational thing here. <laughs> so anyway, so that's sort of the idea of euhemerism, that John F. Kennedy was not a real president. He was just a man, 
who lived, you know, thousands of years ago, and he has been exalted over time through iterations of mythologizing the stories about him under this status of a president, where, where we now all sort of believe, okay, so thank you for attending my lecture here about euhemerism and John F. Kennedy, and I hope you enjoyed this installation of the, the Jerome Anderson Channel Curriculum Online for Free initiative all day, every day, as much as you can take. And that's so so watch the next episode there and we'll and I'll see you I'll see you in the next one. Adios.